Right, as you can see, I've just done a little test run. It's got petrol all over the place. So what I'm using is I'm uh, an old petrol. I think that's out the GM Jimmy. It's all yellow and nasty. I've got a battery well away from the petrol, so we don't want sparks. I, I think it's dead anyway. And a few containers. But what we're going to do, I'm going to zoom in on the bucket that's coming out. I just did a test run to see if it's okay. But you can see already the filth coming out of there. So let's set this up. Let's <coughs> move that battery back a bit further. Get in here. stuff to work with is petrol so what I'm going to be doing now I'm going to open the doors take that petrol out and uh, let's let it uh, let the fumes clear out because it's nasty but anyway that's got all that poo out look right time to reassemble I've got to uh, the flange all cleaned off it's all nice to go I've washed out all the holes in here with our old friend brake cleaner, all the threads. I've also prepped up all the bolts that were rusty and muddy and I've put a little bit of uh, thread uh, lock on those. Get everything ready first and then it's really easy. Now I'm just using grease as a sealer and a paper gasket, it'll be fine, don't worry, I've never known these flanges leak actually. Anyway, let's get this uh, assembled, so there she is, paper gasket on, I've put some grease on the seal, let's get it the right way around because it would look a real fool, and get a bolt in, oh. <laughs> there we go, with a bit of luck they should, uh, the bolt should go in quite easy, mm -hmm. it'll look that way. There we go, got it started a bit. Ratchet spanner in your pocket. Make sure it's going around the right way. And they certainly go in a lot better than they came out. So I'm going to get on with that, put all these on. And then we can get on to the next bit. Now, when I wash the axle out with petrol, I used my long uh, blowgun and blew it all out so it's all nice and dry. Uh, so it should be good to go. Just be careful when you're using petrol. That's actually a, a, a bolt for a, 
that's the bolt for the caliper. I'm not quite with it today, I don't know why. Sunday, I suppose. They certainly go in a lot better than they came out. Right, let me get on the To that. tighten the, the uh, bolts up is kind of difficult. You can't get a torque wrench in. Well, I suppose you can if you buy all fancy gear, but I'm not going to. Again, clench two spanners. When this one starts bending, they're tight. And like I said, do them progressively. I've done most of them. Double check them. So much nicer when things working on a clean, you know. Right, that's tight. It's gonna be lovely. It's gonna be really, really nice. So, next thing, let me go and get the CV. When I do the CVs, I give them a head start with some grease. Always grease them up, don't put them in dry. You know, give them a good old working round. Oop, I'll put the top on that because I'm going to have bloody grease everywhere. We don't need that quite yet. But let that work in. It's really important. Because obviously the, the shaft's going to be like this in the, the hub. And grease will take a while to get in. So if it's got a head start it'll be fine. Right, these are somewhat tricky to get in, but not impossible. Run it through there. Let's put a little bit of grease on that seal. I've already greased the seal. We'll put a little splodge on there. Let's see if we can get that in. in. Next thing, uh, on this flange I'm going to put a little bit of high Lamar on the gasket and I'm going to clean up the bolts and again lock tight. Again, same rules apply. Don't put it in dry. On this needle roller bearing here, give it a head start with some grease. Some of the CV grease. All right, it'll thank you for it later. You know. And again on that oil seal. I know it was a bit of a cop out not changing the seal, but it meant changing the bearing. And I think the seal's all right. It's still flexible. And as you can see, I only put the thinnest of smears of uh, blue hylomar on there. And when and when I put them on, I like to put the flats to the top. Oh, let's wait a minute. Let's give that a bit of a spludge as well. On there. Really is messy stuff that, but it's really good stuff. There we go. Yeah. Now I haven't cleaned up the uh, bolts yet, but I'm just going to put one on now just to keep it in place. And don't forget to put the ring on. Actually, them bolts aren't too bad. They're quite clean. Oh no, we can uh, we can just put some uh, brake cleaner on those and clean them up. Need to pick my beer can up there. Now they'll dry off 
quite nice. In fact, the first ones I've done have dried already. A little bit of Loctite. Of course, there's no... Uh, how do you say? There's no... Uh, locking washers or anything like that on there. And you don't want these to come out. And then we'll get the torque wrench out and torque them down. I haven't cleaned the hubs up yet. That's my next job. But I have a lot of other things to do today, so I might just get up to this stage and um, do the other side because I've got some things to make for the shop. <laughs> I've run out of stock. 65 Newton meters. Wind them down a bit. You have to be careful with Loctite, you have to move pretty quickly because it will start to go off. And do them diagonally opposite. There we go. That's all back together. Now, you can pull the shaft forward and you can see now we get full articulation and this is why the shims are really important. If you notice when you put if the shaft's in, that's as far as you can move it. But when you pull it out, you know, so the shims are really important. So now we'll fill it full of grease. Might not be able to see this, but believe me. So you turn it on full up, full lock, and you can put the grease in. Now I like these roll-up ones; they're quite good. You can get the grease in bottles, but I found out it was a waste. There we go. What's all that in? Go the next door fence. Clean up any excess. And don't forget to put the bung in. Hmm. Don't forget to see where it is. Oh, I must be on the bench. <laughs> 